a journey into a conference room. How appropriate that we're sitting into in a conference room right now, where we are all participants in this meeting, because it's very important that everybody in the meeting is a participant, right? Otherwise, why be in the meeting? So, have any of you ever participated in comedy improv? Have you ever heard of comedy improv? Okay, so I'm going to give you one little technique that you can apply anytime you're in a conference room. And actually, if you pay attention, you will discover that people are doing this every day and every time you are in a meeting. Do you ever sit in any boring meetings? Your mind is wandering around, right? Okay, so here we are, we're in this meeting. And there is one key rule in comedy improv that everybody does in every meeting. The rule is you must say yes and. You must say yes and. So if somebody asks you a question or they, they suggest something to you, you must always say yes and. And again, if you pay attention, this is happening in all your meetings, right? So think about this. Uh, imagine that you know that somebody is supposed to have some information, but they don't quite have it ready. So somebody shoots across the table, hey, you got that PowerPoint presentation ready, right? And you say, yes, and I'll have it to you by the end of the day. Huh? Or let's imagine that somebody doesn't have the information, but they still want to act like they can uh, know a little bit about the subject. So somebody says, oh yes, uh, you know the president of our company, what he's up to, right? And you're thinking in your mind, oh my goodness, the only thing I know about our president is that he is uh, bald. Oh yes, I hear that he got a new shaver that he really likes and it's working out really well for him, right? <laughs> so at least you're contributing to the information that people might want to uh, use. So. Let's go into a meeting here, right? So we're having this meeting here and some tough questions come up in meetings sometimes. So I invite you to participate with me here in this meeting. What's a tough question that you've gotten recently in a meeting? Will it be ready this week? <laughs> Will it be ready this week? Thank you, Alex. And somebody else, what is the answer? Will what be ready this week? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes and? and? What is it that you need? Ah, yes, and what is it that you need? Perfect. Yes, I, okay. I love it. Uh, yeah, we don't know what on earth we're supposed to be doing. It's a, you know, it is really interesting if you really keep your ears open. What's another tough question that you've had in a meeting recently? Jessica. The loaded question. Does anyone have a problem with this? Oh, <laughs> does anybody have a problem with this? Oh, yes. <laughs> this is a good one. Do I have a yes and answer here? Yes, and I'm sure we can work it out. Ah, Simon, yes, and I'm sure we can work it out. You saved the day. This is interesting. One of the rules in comedy is that if you go down a negative pathway, it can go to a, an ugly place where people aren't gonna laugh because it's gonna be painful and it's gonna hurt and they're gonna, they're gonna squirm up, right? So does anybody have a problem with this is like the ultimate question to, to like make the whole meeting sink. And all of a sudden we have a leader, a problem solver who says, yes, and we're gonna have a solution. So all the time when you hear these negative questions, actually that when, when these kind of negative questions come out, it's actually that person might even be trying to show that by that question, they're not in, they're not interested in this project moving forward. They want to show the problems that it has, install it, and all of a sudden, the problem solver comes out and says, "Yes, and we have the solution." Right? Fantastic. So, take yourself back into one of those meetings again. And there was another question out there. What was that question? What was that question? What was that question that you got? Why did you? Distracted by a buzzing phone. <laughs> why is this? Why does this phone Yay. keep buzzing? Uh, I'm going to keep getting some talking. Oh, okay. right. Yes, yes. Uh, why do you keep getting distracted? What? Um, 
Do you really need to have this phone with you all the time? <laughs> yes, and... <laughs> 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 And otherwise, if anyone calls, they're not, let's say I got a call from my manager. What should I say? I can't say that, oh, my phone is somewhere. Yes, and I always have to be available to my manager. They're excellent, excellent. So this is very interesting. Think about this. OK, let's take one more tough question. Trump. Can uh, everyone turn off? Your phones <laughs> before we start the meeting? Yes, and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Excellent. And, and you know what's interesting is when you're in these meetings, you will start to be aware. If you really listen for this, people who are, they might not even have the answer, but they just make it up. And you know what? It's actually funny. If you really pay attention to how people are answering questions, especially when they're put on the spot and somebody calls you by name, Sebi, and now all of a sudden, here comes a question, am I ready, right? But, but catch the ball. Go ahead and catch it. You can, you can ping it back like, you know, like ping pong. Oh, yes, and, you know, catch it. But don't, don't divert it. Diversion is, diversion drops it, right? But go ahead and catch it, say yes, and, and then, even if you don't have the right answer, if you say something funny, the rest of the group is gonna be happy that you were honest about it. So use humor, use the number one rule of improv, yes and, in all of your meetings, and all of your meetings will be more fun, and people will like you more. <laughs>